U Menteri Kampen Mi Bordeng Kejelau James P.K. Sangma Ha kesini tak ada yang juga tayo Lami pertahai ban ajing pencai Halor ke Kampen Mi Bordeng Ha kejelau Meghalia Namar ke jing pencetuk bakla Halor ke Rukom Terekam Jangka Meghalia Energy Corporation Limited Bat ke jing kenok penan kam bakla Ha kepisa Bat ke bor Ha ba penterekam Ha projek Bapher Bapher Jangka Corporation Habaya keren bagi lalat patah kubur Uniu Menteri ulah pencai bagi jing kentok persia eksor karjela halor ke jing penlip boarding kadai ke jing kentok ke babakla haba ong bagi jela meghalia kalamat ya ke jing syak penlip boarding nado kipur ke bermencua Hendai ulah ong bagi jing penlip boarding hakan ke kenti kadai ke babher tam nabarok namar ke jing penlip boarding hakan kipur ke balalit no kidai na ke jing kerdo boarding ke jela kat bah mentapat kadai namar ke jing syak ot boarding hakan company ke badia boarding ke baja na ke jing pensak ram jang ke MEECL Laga day naga power grid ke NIPCO naga NTPC. Uloong baga naga jing saaram jang ke MEECL ke day root naga dao ke jing peniat bakla ke corporation dagi bor sensyar hagi senem ke bala litno. Ke bala hiar pateng bat nang kenton ke bat nang yaat ke senem. Consumers may ask that I'm paying my bills, electricity bills regularly. So why? Why is it that there are power cuts? And this is a very justified question. That today the the average um, uh, income, the revenue that MECL is uh, able to generate on an average in a month is uh, to the tune of um, 75 crores. That is the average income of the MECL. And uh, however, on the flip side, the kind of expenditure that is there of the MECL is to the tune of 120 crores. That means that there is a deficit of rupees 45 crores in a month. The expenditure of the MSCL uh, is not just for towards um, the power purchase dues that are there. Uh, for power purchase, an amount of about 40 crores is spent every month. Pension and salary is something, uh, is a very big chunk of uh, where this, uh, you know, whatever revenue comes, goes into, is comes, it comes to about 34 to 36 crores in a month. So this has really, really affected the financial health of the MECL. And uh, I'm really very sympathetic to the plight of the MECL today because, uh, you know, they have such kind of huge expenditure, 120 crores in a month. How are they going to manage this? So load shedding uh, is something, as I had just explained, the reason for which uh, MECL has to go in for load shedding is because of power regulation by these companies and these companies outstanding dues is not something of today these outstanding dues have been for the past so so many years U Menteri Ula Pensyai Ruh Halor Gijing Kedno Akibah Mi Nek Gijing Temu Penterekam Ya Ke Smart Meter Haga Jela Bat Ong Baga Gijing Pensutuk Bakla Kala Jurbha Halor Kanika Project Kebala Air Ke Sorkar Pereng Ulo ang bagi jeng kenal halor kejeng o door ram mikis smart meter habi nujor bat kiwe bat kijela kadai gebam sisha bat kat kum kejeng ong jeng u kador ban pendat yo smart meter hak kijela kalong tang lay hajar nyus pak san pau tengka kentup ya berok kejeng dan kam om hado kendai hajar tam kum balak kenal uli itu bayar arlak teli gimi ter on pendat yang kijakan o kendong kam tam hari lom garu kabah kejeng do nong nak kejeng sam boarding kalong hado hendro pau nak sispa Ulo ang baga jing pendat iki smart meter kan yarap eka MECL ban om do ee show eka kajena. Bat ban penti kenaru bagi long yang kejela ken siyo ke bay boarding kat kum ka jing pendan kam jongki ya ke boarding. So that kind of misinformation was out there. Another misinformation which people wanted to put out in the public, I don't know why, for what reason this kind of misinformation is doing the rounds. They said that, uh, you know, consumers will have to pay for these smart meters, which was again totally incorrect. Consumers don't have to pay for this again, you know, because the ADP has funded this project. It is being borne by this ADP fund. So consumers don't have to pay for these smart meters. But what I'm trying to say is that there is a, um, you know, uh, a lot of misinformation which is being put out to uh, uh, you know confuse people and uh, it's very unfortunate that this is taking place uh, and uh, you know uh, but uh, uh, having said that uh, i think that now people are very very clear on their minds that uh, people are not paying for this this is an adb grant and the cost of every meter is not 9444 which is uh, you know misinformation and lies being spread 
Halor ke jingmi khubar bakat nat pemi boarding kala betha ya ke MEECL ban pencong dor no ikinong kenti bakadon ban lilam ne ban IY. U menteri ulo khubar ekania batong bakat jing pencong dor ikinong kenti jong ke MEECL kamde satya na kebenta ban dedo. Nrei tang ban IY kenang bakat corporation kan yok kajna naki. Ula penti bru babon ke jaka jong ke MEECL kila syak muslia jubor hakibrio. Bat dagani ke jing syak pencong dor kan ban IY no kan yarap ban tek lakam ya ke jing muslia ya ke jaka. But these assets which are there, which are being encroached upon, there is a lot of encroachment. Uh, we will be able to at least ensure that we stop, put an end to encroachment, and at the same time, we earn some revenue from these kind of assets. So that's what we mean by monetization of assets. Habakali halor ke jingdawa jong UDP ban weng no yo unak juki menteri kam boarding. U menteri lu kan thot ke boong ba ka sang UDP kala bakla tho yo khnam. Halor ke jingdawa ka bapen kesan ba ke ek baja ka balong hapo ke MECL menta kam de satya ke jingle jong unak sarkar ke menta. Nrei jong ke bor san shar ke bala no. Kat kum ke jing ong jong u ke UDP kam de ban kedo kti ke ning sarkar ha ba kan tho bala da ka de ban kedo kti. Kadai bantau syakit tu kibriau kibah pensa ram ya ke MEECL kibah soi kisah sekular bom syong hok bat kibah klem pendap ya ke jeng kular bani Arab ya ke MEECL ha ke jeng seo ya ke terminal benefit syakit nang teri. I think that I share the kind of concerns of the UDP and its leaders in expressing something like that that there is you know during the examination time students are facing a lot of challenges a lot of difficulties in general, the public faces so many difficulties every time the electricity goes off. And uh, I share that concern with them. And I appreciate the fact that they are bringing this to light and they, uh, you know, they are uh, speaking about it. Um, but I, uh, you know, I just uh, would like to say this, that their concerns are very genuine, but their, uh, their approach is very misdirected. I think that the approach should have been that this is uh, dues uh, of the previous so many years. When you look at it cumulatively, these kind of dues which have accumulated over these years, um, one cannot expect that the solution can be uh, arrived at within a short period of two to three years. I think that uh, what we need is to all work collectively. The government is trying its best to find solutions to the problems that are there. But then we need the support of the public. It cannot be, uh, you know, just us doing our bit. So I think that uh, this kind of, direct, uh, you know, sort of uh, approach should have been directed towards uh, those kind of people, not towards the government of the day, which is trying its level best today. And everyone knows that uh, today the government is trying its best and uh, because of our efforts, load shedding has been only there in the past. Uh, this is the lean season. This is the worst time of the year wherein we have constant load shedding. If you look at the past, uh, you know, you make a comparison. Uh, we can remember what kind of load shedding we would have hours and hours on end. But here we are uh, because of the gov efforts of this government that we have been able to reduce that load shedding to only that specific period of four to three to four days where uh, NIPCO and other power generating companies regulated our power. N you know, so there is a stark contrast between what used to happen in the past and now. So all I'm saying is that um, uh, I uh, appreciate their concerns, but I think it is misdirected.